Okay, so, so Ted had made a conversion from swing to hitting, and what he was referring to is that when the swinger starts down, the, sh the right shoulder acts as a flywheel that spins, 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 and throws out, throws out the club. The hitter, on the other hand, uses it, and it's rather quick. It's rather quick motion right here. It's the only time I would ever use the word quick in connection with a golfing machine, because normally, for a 3F6, the idea is to be very deliberate, positive, and heavy, and to avoid, and avoid all quick and jerky motions. But the hitter gets that right shoulder, he cranks right there. He gets here, hip slide, the shoulder stays against the face of the plane. It does not drop down. So it stayed, the whole idea was to turn that right shoulder back to the plane so it can drive down the plane. But it does not get back to the plane and then drop in some perverted idea of axis tilt. So to the top, the hip mo motion essentially takes up the slack, and then right arm drives against this right shoulder, straight all the way down until it's fully straight. And by the way, impact is still bent. Even at low point, it's still bent. After low point, the club head starts up and in, but the right arm continues to drive toward the plane line. Per 1L15, the club starts up and in after low point, but the thrust continues down plane. 